Okay, well, uh, I got the last of the insides. Uh, oh. There, I've got the last of the insides uh, all cleaned out. And I was using this tool here. Uh, the Sawzall did the, uh, the reciprocating saw did most of the work. But on the places where it was uh, harder to get into, like making this here flat, it was sticking up, oh, well, the, the width of one side of the reciprocal saw. So I just took this little hand blade and it's a, it's just a handle that has a clamp on it for a regular little saw, saw blade. And you just clip that on. We use this, uh, Bill used it to install telephones to put the boxes in the walls. And uh, I use it to saw uh, drywall to put a, a medicine cabinet in. It works really well on, on drywall. Then it works pretty darn well for this too. And now the cavity is uh, as flat as it's going to be. I just have to trim up a little bit of these wires. Make those flat. Take these bumpy little bumpers off. And cut that pipe even and all that. And uh, it'll be ready for the it'll be ready for the insulation. And that's uh, that part we have to go to the hardware store for. So time to get the old pocketbook out. <laughs> okay, just a quick glance inside to some of the things we've done. We've uh, cut the wires off flush and cut that off flush, plugged up the copper pipe that came in, trying to make the surface somewhat as flush as possible. And uh, took out the knob, took out the knob for opening and closing the refrigerator. This is linked to probably a light system, but I need to cut these wires off. Now I look inside, you can see that there's some insulation there. This is like fiberglass according to the feel on my finger. And I uh, cut this wire off in here so that's flush. Now I just have to fill these holes with silicone, flush them out. Went to the hardware store today. <clears throat> Got this one. This foil for lining the base. It's, uh, actually this is used for inside of ovens. I should cover a, a pretty decent portion of the interior of this box once I get it scrubbed up. And then a fellow that I was talking to down at the hardware store just happened to have this old box of uh, Reflectix Radiant Barrier. This is one of the old styles, doesn't have any insulation, but if you remember, we really didn't need insulation. And this is just a thin piece of aluminum uh, with a little bit of fiber to keep it together. And that's a pretty good portion of it right in there. Um, and it's perforated to let moisture in and out because it's meant to be for a house block used in that fashion right there to keep the radiant heat from coming down into a, a house gable. So. Uh, he didn't need this. He had bought it for like five bucks from Home Depot and when it was on clearance and um, so he just said he would donate it to the cause. I'm just real tickled to have this. Because uh, that has saved me quite a bit of money. The prices I've been comparing were uh, within the range uh, over 150 to 200 dollars and more. So that saved me quite a bit of money. He wouldn't take a penny for it. I offered three times, so bless his heart. He just said he wants to know how the project ends up.
Hey there, Hope. This is my old grandma dog. This is Hope. Come on, baby. See, I've got gray hair and everything, and I'm old. And that's uh, Blackie. Blackie. This is her brother, Blackie. They're both out of the same litter, both rescues. You helping mom with her project today? Yeah, are you? Yeah, what are you, 14 years old? Yeah, 14, and loved every day of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got green, I got, look at my gray hair. <laughs> yeah, that's my baby. That's my old man, aren't ya? Okay, let's get back to work. Let's quit playing around. The trip to the hardware store also gave me um, some uh, good uh, finds on paint and silicon. The, uh, we have here a Rust-Oleum High Heat, which is actually used for uh, your barbecues. So that can handle any heat that the solar oven will generate, or the solar uh, water heater will generate. This actually resists heat up to 1,200 degrees. The estimates I've seen range from 120 to 1,000 if the steam builds up. So that should handle any kind of heat that 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 our bread box should generate. And then as far as uh, filling up holes and doing seams and and uh, making a nice finished edge. I uh, got the 3M fire block sealant and uh, the uh, this was the least expensive um, uh, fire rated silicon on the on the shelf so this is actually can be used in fireplaces HVAC ducts and chimneys and things so that should do the job for uh, any type of sealing and resisting any heat that we need um, Looking at the tray uh, holders and the shelf holders and uh, reading the different type of materials, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave those in there because uh, it did say that if you leave a little bit of a gap between the radiant bearer and the exterior, that serves as a cushion for, um, for thermal, your thermal activity. So. I think I'm going to take out these clips, but other than that, I think I'm going to leave that in there to hold up the uh, thermal barrier a little bit away from the wall. 